Hello guys and welcome to this short video. I'm gonna show you how I've implemented these very simple dialog options for the AIP demo that you can download from the Marketplace page. First things first, uh, let's take a look how it actually works. Uh, here I have the player control class which contains a uh, collapse node and here is uh, the dialog node. Uh, here I've created a custom event uh, which is called show dialog line, uh, which creates a dialog uh, widget blueprint. I will show that uh, in a second. Uh, it uh, sets the variable. Uh, it adds that uh, blueprint to uh, viewport. It uh, it's gonna check whether the sound uh, in the in the input uh, is valid. Uh, if not, then uh, skips playing sound, uh, otherwise it plays uh, the sound. Then there is a short delay, uh, and then the widget is destroyed and dialog line is reset to nothing, so you can repeat this process as many times as you want to. So this is the very simple uh, showing dialog options, and uh, this can be called from uh, the individual components, for instance, from this safe. Uh, here is on interaction completed. Uh, that is called after the uh, interactable is being uh, finished. Uh, here is a simple check whether uh, it's a first try or any other try. Uh, if it's uh, if uh, it's a first try, then it mean uh, it hasn't been checked yet. So we go the uh, false way. Uh, I play a sound, a very simple beat, uh, short delay. Then I cast to the pair controller. Uh, I find uh, the dialog table row. Uh, with a uh, name of zero. Uh, this can be very easily uh, adjusted, but I like to name the rows uh, with uh, numbers. I break the I break the uh, row uh, and I basically uh, fill the data into the dialog line, which is called back in here, displays the widget, plays the sound, etc. Uh, here I said whether it was checked or not uh, and set the interaction time uh, to one second. Uh, this is purely a showcase of uh, updating uh, the interactable and uh, any other uh, any other try after that uh, it goes to the true way uh, again I do the very same thing I get the table uh, this time with a different uh, row name it's a second row and I do the very same thing so uh, how does the how does the dialog uh, uh, row looks like? It's basically, uh, it consists of this structure, which contains the dialogue title. Uh, so you can show, uh, you know, uh, the dialogue, uh, for instance, who is talking, uh, the dialogue body, the main text, the sound, and for uh, how long you want to keep the widget in the world. Uh, it should always be at least a, a few moments longer than the actual uh, duration of the sound cue. And uh, here is a showcase of the data table. Uh, you see there are only, there are only two rows. Uh, you see that I just filled some data, and that's basically uh, the things that I say in the uh, in the sound cubes. And about the widget blueprint, uh, here it is, the dialog line. It is very simple. Uh, there is a simple ver uh, vertical box which is uh, which is uh, pivoted to the bottom of the screen. So every it doesn't matter on the screen resolution or uh, aspect ratio. Uh, then there is a very simple image. Uh, with uh, this background that I've created in Photoshop. And here is a simple text block that I update uh, through uh, the construct. And here you can see that uh, in the construct, I just fill in the text. And that's basically everything. Uh, it is a very basic, uh, it is very basic uh, dialogue system. Uh, you can find uh, some of those on Marketplace. Uh, some are free, uh, but this is a very, a very basic, uh, big, uh, you know, foundation for the dialogue plugin that I'm working on. So, uh, if you want some very simple dialogue logic until my plugin is free, uh, just write, write out. It's very simple, and you can do it. Cheers.